Hey guys, and welcome back to my little corner. Today we are doing this look right here on my face. Um, I'm using kind of a mixture of everything, so I don't think there's anything I really need to point out. I guess the biggest thing would be the foundation I used. I jumped back to my first semi high end foundation, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. I forgot how awesome this was, too. Isn't that funny how we like take a break from a product and we come back and we're like, I wasn't crazy, this was awesome. I got distracted that's where I was so if you guys don't mind grab a glass of coffee grab a glass of coffee the reason why I said that is because it is it is 10 o'clock at night is it really 10 o'clock at night it is 10 o'clock at night and I'm filming a get ready with me well at least I'm done filming a get ready with me but I'm getting ready to open that bad boy behind me can you guys see it yeah that stitch fix getting ready to open that one so needed a cute look I think we did all right. So if you guys, like I said, eight o'clock at night, grab yourselves a, maybe a mojito or you know, a cup of coffee, grab your makeup, sit down with me, and we'll just hang out and chat and do our makeup together. So as per request of EMV, I got you guys a little bit closer. I'm a little nervous I might go out of shot. She wanted me to get a little closer so y'all could see what I'm doing, but See, that's why I want you to get ready with me so you don't see everything I'm doing because it's not all fabulous, but I try. For moisturizer today, I'm gonna use this Promise Organic Nourishing Coconut Milk Facial Lotion with hibiscus. Um, it said coconut on it, so it had me at coconut. I'm trying to lose my voice. I'm sorry, guys, but it's really cool. It's not white. It's like skin tone looking almost, so we'll give this a little dab rooney. I got relash today. It went really good. I gotta say, like, the more I go, the more I realize, like, the whole situation is relaxing. You're just laying there. I mean, as long as you don't get too into your head about somebody moving around your eyelashes, it's not too bad. This smells really good and it's really smooth. One day I will have a real vanity, and, um, but for now, I have an antique sewing table that has all my makeup on it. When I don't bring half of it down here to hang out with you guys. But I have this like little organizer that has, you know, all my extra lippies and stuff in it. And it had this lotion in it. I forgot I even had it. That's what happens when you have too many subscriptions. I'm honestly glad I cut it down so I can go through what I have before anything expires. So the next thing I'm going to use is Marcel's. City Tinted Cream SPF 25. I'm not really gonna be going outside, but I like the thought of putting on a tinted cream before I put on today's foundation. I'm not really trying anything new to me. To, this is like really tinted, but like straight up foundation looking. Should I have shook this first? Oh, we'll see. This could go terribly wrong. Uh, uh. I definitely should have shook it. There's extra moisture coming out. <laughs> Let's just put this on my face and put the lid on it. This is also what happens when you have too many subscriptions. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's better now. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's better. That's nice that I put that separated cream all over my face. Okay, I don't even know where I put this, dude. <laughs> That looks like foundation! I just put a bunch of foundation on my face. That's what it feels like. It's what it looks like. If it looks like a lightweight foundation and it feels like a lightweight foundation, it's probably a lightweight foundation. <laughs> I feel like I need a beauty blender. <laughs> this is clean, it's just stained. Clean, it's just stained. So normally we get ready with me in the morning, but I have my relash at noon. And I need to film a Stitch Fix video. It's 8.49. I already had some wine. So this is going to be a very interesting get ready with me. I guess if you're going out tonight, you could hold on to this bad boy until tonight. <laughs> and then have a glass of wine with me and make the helps drive. <laughs> or the significant other of your old choice. I actually like the way that blended out. I just wasn't planning on blending out my cream today. It is. It says tinted cream. It ain't playing. This is this would be really nice for like a no makeup day. Before we get started on our eyes though. 
So since giveaway is probably over, right? Right? Friday will be the 30th. Today's the 31st. So that means I've either posted or will post today the winner of the giveaway. Since Emily Cordown's team was adamant that I try this and sponsored the giveaway, I say we put this on our lips right now and we check it out. Because I have been dying. I got tinted cream on my box. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's all over my fingers and it's all over the package. Okay, I guess that's okay. I have a box upstairs. <laughs> Cause I haven't let go of it. It is so pretty. I don't know why I'm looking at it like I'm looking at it for the first time. It's just so beautiful. I mean, that's that's just my lip pot. I'm just putting my lip pot stuff on my lips. Oh, I've been dying to try this. Uh, okay, so it has like a rose champagne scent to it. I know this drill. I meant to bring that one down to show you guys what a, a divot I made in it, but I have not hit the bottom of it yet. But I apply it. I was trying to figure out how many times I apply this stuff to my lips, or at least my coconut one upstairs. I would say at least six times a day I've been putting it on. <laughs> and then sleeping in it at night, and then I go to it right after I brush my teeth in the morning. I'm pretty addicted. Oh my gosh, it doesn't, I really expected it to feel exactly the same. It doesn't, it actually has a little bit of a lighter texture to it. I mean, the smell is amazing and it feels very nourishing. I thought it'd be nice. Ooh, I like that one too. Way to go, Emily Cordon. Now that my lips are nice and moisturized, let's move on to my eyes. That's a little rhyme. I didn't even mean to do that. I wanted to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I don't know where that's at right now. So we're gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. Put it on my eyelids, spread that stuff out, and then put some eyeshadow on. So I didn't really do much today. I got relashed and I cleaned my house and I fed the people in my house. <laughs> I keep, I keep trying to shove the, the shape tape and all the other stuff in holes that they clearly will not fit in. This is going to be a fun get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys are going to get an inside peek. Look at this. But I want you guys to see how little my stitch fix order is. And a little? What if my crossbody is not in there? Put that back. So will just be peeking out of the corner. <laughs> okay. Back to the task at hand, putting some stuff on my face. I am using the Morphe R42 to spread this stuff out. Oh my God, what's my makeup gonna turn out like with me drinking while I'm putting it on? I cannot decide whether or not to go for the other two palettes in the CoverGirl because we had fun with those last week and we said we were gonna do this. Or to play with my boxy charm again, which I played with a lot this week, see? Oh, before I forget, comment down below, first person gets it, who likes Savannah Smiles? This is the last year Girl Scouts are selling them. I'm stuck with a box. Nobody here likes them. I really want to use the Goldens and then use the Golden one from the Jewel. Let's go, let's go Golden Goddess today. Golden, Golden Green Goddess. And then we'll play with Boxy Charm next week. I promise. All right, I really want to use these vintage brushes, so I'm going to throw those in the mix. However, I don't see one that's like dome shaped. My furless brush friend here, so I'm going to use him for my first crease shade. So I'm going to jump into Cookie Biscuit right here and put that into my crease. Sometimes I push down too much and I make my brush like flip flop and it does not do good for my shadow. Bring it down there a little bit. I like that shade. What did I say? Cookie biscuit? It makes me hungry. 
even though they have a little bit of shimmer to them, I'm thinking this last green color, Ecru, is kind of cool. I just don't know if I've darkened it up enough to this point to be able to put that in there, but we're about to find out, ladies. Here we go. Same brush. Yeah. That's not bad. Pull it in a little. Pull it over here. I'm just doing this slowly. It's probably going to get a lot deeper. Knowing me. I like it. What do you guys think? Go back in with that cookie biscuit here in a second and just melt it back out. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Let's bring that down. Yeah. Bring it down. Alright, I'm gonna grab cookie biscuit again. You got back over it. Because it, I don't know. I really like the shade cookie. Yeah. Now, let's use one of these bad boys, the step one for the money. Let's use that one with some of my number seven hydrating mineral spray. So we're gonna use gold ore from the Jules palette. Oh, is that pretty? I'm gonna bring that all the way down. Ooh. They are not playing gold ore. This is just straight up gold. Oh, I didn't mean to get that in my crease. That's okay, I'll fix that. <laughs> see what I mean? I didn't want you guys getting this close. You can see all my mistakes. Oh my god, is that not beautiful? Like. I just forgot about these palettes. I cannot believe it. It's so pretty. I love it. I mean, like, these brushes really do grab a hold of the shadow, like, perfectly. That is just a gorgeous shade. I'm gonna grab my blending brush again, grab that cookie biscuit one more time, and just clean up anywhere. I didn't mean to bring that gold. All right, so we're gonna go in with my Winged Woman Eyeliner. I did just get relashed, but I'm not as afraid as I was before. I'm gonna use some oil-free eye makeup remover and get all this junk off. I didn't realize how easy it would be to get eyeliner off of eyelashes. This is the Winged Woman by The Beauty Crop. Girls, I should not have tried to do a wing. I don't know, my wings never turn out right. I need to do that. Um, what have you guys said? Grab a bobby pin. It's hard to see through my eyelashes, too. Like, that's definitely a problem. Girls, why do I even try? Sometimes I wonder, why do I even try? All right, let's grab my little e.l.f. small angled brush and go into Onyx from the Jules palette. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I am hating right now. And I need some help cleaning up what I just did. Deepening it up a little bit, covering all the spots I could not see through my lashes to get. And then doing that lower lash line. Oh well, 
this is what happens when you drink and do your makeup. A little bit of a crazy one today. Do you guys tend to like go more bold with your eye looks when you know like you're not going out, you're just playing, does it, wait, am I the only grown woman that still plays in her makeup? Because I do. Like, I won't be going anywhere, and I'll be checking out what this shadow looks like with that shadow. So now that most of my eyes are done, I just need to obviously do some cleaning and straightening up, because we're wonka do with my eyeliner. My wings are flapping in different variations. It ain't pretty. <laughs> So foundation today, I'm gonna use my Bare Skin by Bare Minerals. I haven't used it in a while, but it was the first. You have to shake this. It was the first um, high-end-ish, right? Bare Minerals is high-end um, foundation that I ever got. With this one, I do put it on the back of my hand and then my Y6 into it and then on my face. And then we'll do our brows. I'm gonna do my brows after foundation. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. <laughs> God, I love that movie. Little Orphan Annie. Favorite. Um, tomorrow we are going to a birthday party. Carly has her very last cookie booth. It's at the mall. I did not do that on accident. And then after that, I don't think I have anything else. I don't think. So. Um. Other than Stitch Fix, I don't know what other videos we have coming either. No idea. I feel like we need to do that bargain hunt trip that we've been talking about. Just one of your all suggestions. Just kind of go into bargain hunt and hunt for beauty stuff. Or see what else they have. It does look really good. I mean, I haven't even gone at it with a beauty blender yet and it looks really smooth. I forgot. I forgot! I switched from this to the Bear Pro. Um, just to try it and I really like the Bear Pro and then I started trying other <laughs> you guys know foundations I started going through them um, and when I try one I get semi addicted to it um, I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer I'm gonna grab the light neutral I already have out I still cannot wait to get my extensions in guys cannot wait I'm putting more more of this on the normal because I put a lot of black shadow on my eye and I need to conceal that. I should have just grabbed a makeup wipe and wiped that stuff off first. Plus, I'm a little inebriated. And this stuff smells good. We're gonna do a little, little contour. We're gonna contour slightly with my shape tape. I'll stop. Ooh, I forgot my brows. That shit up there. It's a cute look for me, huh? I think so. Okay. Oh, it's up in the lashes. Okay, guys. Um, don't drink in shape tape. It's not a good idea. I did too much. <laughs> Take notes, ladies. This is how you do it. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not going anywhere. Look at this. <laughs> what did I do to myself? Oh my god. It's all gone terribly wrong. Too much shape tape. Too much shape tape. Reverse. The beauty blender is coming to the rescue, ladies. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Nobody cry. Put your makeup remover wipes away. We're gonna be okay. It's so beautiful. Aren't you guys so glad you're watching my channel? Oh man, this is just masterful. I am so impressed with my talents. 
now that I've wiped away all my eyeshadow, <laughs> let's put some more makeup on. <laughs> yeah! Getting that cookie biscuit again. It's probably, yeah. Putting it back. Putting you back where I found you, cookie biscuit. I really like that shade. Let's grab this little bad boy, the Step 3 Go Girl Go brush. They all had like specific names, but I don't remember them. And I'm gonna get Cookie Biscuit and put it under my eye because I think it's pretty. Hopefully I don't muddle up that black. Ooh, right there in the corner though, hello, I see you. All right, so now I'm gonna put on mascara. I'm gonna use the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. I'm obviously only going to put it on my lower lashes. This is a good size brush for this. Eyes are done. Let's do brows. Gonna use my Busy Brow Gal in taupe. I always do. This is just, I, I can't even see me going to another brow product because where did that come from? Y'all saw me do it. What did I do it? What the heck? Just a dot? Just a dot. When did I do that? When did I do that? I'm fired. Okay. I don't know when I did that. I really don't. Alright, back to my brows. It's gonna take me to go through this whole thing because I use it every day. I think I'm about to give up on my brows. That's as good as it gets in my world. Me doing my makeup. So now what shower down. I want to try one of these colors on my inner corner actually now that I've wiped it all away. I'm gonna try the second color. What is it called? Chiffon. I'm going to use the Step 3 Go 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 Girl that I've just slightly cleaned off and use that to apply it to my inner corner. Good lord! Yeah. That's so pretty. I'm bringing that over a little bit. Yeah. It says it's a bronzer, but it's a really, really good setting powder. Um, the funny thing is, this one doesn't kick back as much as my last one, so it makes me think that my last one was like expired or something, like I didn't check the date, but it had a ton of kickback and it broke so easily, like I dropped it on a carpet floor and it broke. So I don't know. Now I can bronze. It's my favorite part. Um, since we use Bare Minerals, let's use my Bare Minerals bronzer. So I don't think I've used that with you guys. I have this in the shade Warmth, and I usually will just kick it into the cap unless I've left it open by accident and there's more than enough in the cap for me. I'm gonna grab my little blending brush because if I remember correctly, this stuff is really pigmented and I haven't used it in a while. Down the drain. 
I'm gonna put the remainder of this over here. Grab my bigger brush and get some of that stuff on there. Put it up here. And no worries, guys, I'm gonna blend all this out really, really good. And you almost can't tell how crappy I am at putting on makeup. Right? I think that's what's awesome about makeup is uh, there's plenty of people that teach you how to do it, and plenty of people are willing to teach you how to do it for free. So <laughs> that's, you know, the beauty of YouTube. One of them. Honestly, you guys are the best thing about YouTube. Hearing your all's comments, talking to you guys in the comment section, it brightens my day. I really want to start tanning again just so I can go to town with my bronzer without it looking so in your face. I'm gonna contour out my nose using my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and the same bronzer I used on my face and just a light contour. Right? Does that work? Too much, too little? All right, so I quit recording on me again. I think after a while it just goes, oh, she's gotta be done by now, and it just shuts off. I'm sure there's a setting I can do to fix that, but sorry. I just buffed it out, and I put Party On, which is my Tarte blush, and um, I'm just blending it out so that we can hurry up and get to highlight, <laughs> and then do my lips. And then I can open my Stitch Fix and hang out with you guys. So for highlight, I cannot help myself. I'm gonna use my stunner. It smells delicious and I love the fact that it's a full size. It makes me feel special. Um, I'm gonna use two different highlighting brushes because I really like this one for my cheeks and for there, but for the bridge of my nose and for my lips, I like a different one. So we're gonna use two. We're gonna use my Illuminator. Cause she's awesome. Uh, I don't know the brand. Like I've tried to say it, Bogashis. So there's the brand name. If you guys can sound it out, sorry about my dirty hands. They've got makeup all over them. So I'm gonna take my baby out of her shell and get stunner. Luckily, this one has a little mirror on it, and just right there. Oh, I can smell it already. My hair's like trying so hard to get out, guys. She's like, normally we hang out with you too. Oh. oh, I love it. I just love it. If you guys haven't tried Tarte's products, they just smell amazing. Now, I know there are definitely a lot of girls out there that don't like scents in their products, and I totally get you. But if you do like scented things, you will love the Tarte brand. Because I swear they take that into account. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Illuminator. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my Illuminator does a better job of placing more product than that brush I got. It's the Moda Fan Brush. And an empty. It's really pretty. It just doesn't pick up quite as much. I'm in 
some love. I think this look is turning out so good. I'm excited to film my Stitch Fix video with you guys in this look. You know what, before I do my lips, I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use my Marine uh, Boosting Mist, which is not, I don't know if it's meant to set, but I use it, I like it, it works. And I'm just gonna blend everything in before we go on with lips. I don't know, I like doing this. I feel like it just makes everything look like one cohesive, Thing. I'm going to use for lip liner the NYX Lip Crayon in Mauve. I'll show you guys what I'm going to use for my lips in a minute, which I may put gloss over it because I'm a glossy girl. I wish somebody could teach me how to overline my lips because I have a fairly decent sized set of lips, but I wouldn't mind making them look bigger. With that Emily Cordon Cashmere on Lip Hot, I have seen improvement of my lips. I still have two spots left it's working on, but I had a whole, it was bad. And obviously those are accentuated by the foundation around them. I love their lip liners. They're super smooth, really pigmented, really easy to apply. Usually I have an accident or two when I'm putting it on, probably because I'm talking while I'm doing it, but I normally do a pretty good job with their lip liners, so NYX lip liners are awesome cream ones at least um I got a new lip paint this one is in the shade get it get it get it it's pretty I'm gonna put it on we'll let it dry down and then I think I'm gonna do gloss over it because I gotta have a glossy lip The lip liner does not match at all, but that's like classic me, right? So now that that has dried down a little bit, I'm gonna throw some Sephora lip gloss on top, mainly because my lip bling is not down here. Oh, that looks pretty. All right, guys, so that is it for today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know if you're that first person in the comments down below that you like Savannah Smiles. I'm going to send them to you because nobody here likes them. If you are new to my channel and you sat through a whole get ready with me, subscribe. I don't know what you're doing if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I think today's look turned out pretty darn cute. And just hang on a couple more days and you will see this look in a Stitch Fix video. Until then, my lovelies, bye!
Yeah, go on back, go. Go on back, go on back, go. Look at it go. Wow. It keeps moving.